In this video we're making a knotted macrame style drink bottle holder. You can easily swap different drink bottles in and out, it fits a few different sizes and it's easy to take it out, have a quick drink and pop it back in again. We've used a four strand round braid for our handles, so it's a really simple design. We start with eight 160 centimetre lengths of paracord, placing all the ends together and then tying a simple overhand knot. So bringing all the cords around to form a loop and then bringing the tails through the loop, pulling it nice and tight. It's up to you how much of a tail you leave on the end here. I like a little bit there, so I've left about 10 centimetres. You want to give each tail a good pull, making sure they're all nice and tight. Now we're going to start with our knots for the netting. So holding that knot down with the cords coming upwards, bringing the cords outwards so that you can work out which ones sit nicely next to each other, and then we can work our way around. So grabbing two cords out that sit nicely next to each other, and tying a simple overhand knot, making a loop and bringing those tails through the loop, bringing it down tight about an inch from that central knot. Now turning your netting so that you can go into the next two cords sitting next to each other, bringing them around to form another overhand knot and pulling that down tight about the same distance away from that central knot. And then onto the next two cords, simple overhand knot, and pulling that down nice and tight, making sure all your knots are even. And then onto the last two cords with a simple overhand knot on those ones as well. So that should be the first layer of knots on your drink bottle holder. So you should have four evenly placed knots on the cords coming outwards. Now again we hold it with this bigger central knot coming down and the cords outwards. So we're going to grab two cords that are sitting next to each other, one from each knot. Grabbing onto that centre knot for tension and then tying a simple overhand knot in these threads as well. Pulling it down about an inch away from the other knots. Pulling it nice and tight. Now working your way around, so grabbing two cords that are sitting next to each other. Holding onto that centre knot and tying a simple overhand knot in these cords as well making sure the knots are nice and even. So we just work our way around, bringing two cords sitting next to each other and tying those simple overhand knots for this layer of knots as well. It seems like a lot of cords, but it does actually make sense while you're doing it. So these are my last two cords. So holding on to that central knot, and tie my last overhand knot for this layer. So you should have another round of nice even knots on your netting. You can start to see your drink bottle holder forming and so you can bring it outwards. You should have no holes that are big enough that your drink bottle can slip through. So that all depends on how far away you're tying your knots. So if you do have big holes there, you can always undo and retie your knots. But if you're happy with it, then continue by grabbing two cords next to each other, holding that centre knot and tying those cords with a simple overhand knot, pulling that knot down nice and tight. And then working your way around this layer of knots as well, doing the same thing. So this is our third layer of knots. So we just repeat this process a couple of times. And then we can check it on the drink bottle and see how we're going for size. Okay, so this is our fourth round of knots. You wanna slide your drink bottle in and just check it, see how far you've got to go. Mine is coming up about halfway along my drink bottle, so I'm going to need at least two more layers of knots, possibly three. 
So I've gone right up to seven layers of knots here. You really want your last knots to be right at the top of your drink bottle. That way it's going to be held together and hold that drink bottle nice and secure. So you see how I've got my knots coming right up to the top there? That's about where you want your top layer of knots to be. Now we're going to bring our cords into two sides to make the straps for our hanger. So take the bottle back out and then we're going to braid each side into a four strand round braid. So obviously four cords on each side. So holding that original center knot and pulling four cords down and then I clip them onto something so I can do my braid. Super simple, just bringing the right cord under two and back one. Left side cord under two cords and back one. Right side cord under two and back one. Left side cord under two and back one. I have another video for doing four strand round braids which I'll link below. Once you're done with the first one, just swap onto the second strap and do the same thing on this one as well. So right side cord under two cords and back one. Then the left side cord under two and back one. Alternating those stitches until you get to the end. Once you're done with your straps, that's pretty much your whole hanger done. So you can try it all out, make sure you're happy with the size of everything. Then I just tie a simple overhand knot on the end of my straps to make a good solid handle. And you can see how easy it is to swap different bottles in and out.